welcome if you are new here. My name is Emily. If you're not new here, you can probably tell that um, I underwent a little hair transformation yesterday. I got my extensions out, so I'm really sad, honestly. My hair is so thin, and it's just, it's not it. It's not healthy. It's so sad. But um, I'm getting my extensions put back in on Tuesday. Today is Friday and I couldn't wait. I honestly just love having hair extensions. It seriously makes me so much more confident. Honestly, I thought I would have a total meltdown when I left the salon without my extensions in, but I really didn't. I don't hate it. I just don't love it, you know? Like, I love having long hair. I just feel like you can do so many more styles. If you guys enjoyed that little aesthetic intro, by the way, I actually filmed all of that on my iPhone, the new iPhone. And the quality is insane, you guys. This is the 13 Pro Max. I got the white one. And let me tell you guys, like this phone quality, the camera quality is insane. Absolutely insane. I know we haven't posted in a while. Abby started school, esthetician school. So she's been in school full time and we haven't had time to get together to film. If you don't know, we live over an hour away from each other, so it's not super easy to get together, and I've been really busy this month actually with my other business, so sorry for the lack of videos, but hopefully I can get this up really quickly. Today's Friday the 22nd, um, tomorrow I have a full day of clients and then a friend's birthday party, so I don't know when this video will be up, hopefully I can get it up within the next few days. But I'm going to make breakfast and show you guys what I'm having because I posted a progress picture and a lot of people ask like what I eat or my diet, so um, I'm going to try and show you what I eat throughout the day. And I also have quite a few packages that I picked up last night from the office and I want to open them with you guys and try things on for you. Okay, this is going to make or break my morning. I really, really hope this is a beautiful avocado. Send a prayer to the avocado gods. Let's check it out. Mm, not the best, not the worst. I give her a 7 out of 10. She could be better, but... She'll do. So I'm gonna put half of the avocado on an English muffin, and then just do need shredded cheese, one whole egg, and turkey bacon. And you need to heat up the pan first for a little bit. You wanna make sure the pan is hot before you start cooking. But I'm gonna show you guys how I make my egg because it's a little different maybe than, than you're used to making them, and you should definitely try out my way if you have it before but i'll show you guys in a second so once the egg is almost all the way cooked on one side you're just gonna take your shredded cheese and just sprinkle some on the egg i know it's kind of weird like to burn your cheese but it tastes so good so you let that sit for a few seconds and then you're gonna flip it over and cook it until the cheese is completely burnt on the other side. So I put the avocado on the English muffin and then I'm going to load up the sandwich. So here's what the egg looks like. The, oak, the yolk should still be runny, but you see that? Like it looks not appetizing at all. It looks gross, but I promise it's so good. And then yeah, just a piece of turkey bacon, but I'm just gonna eat that and then chill out, watch some YouTube before I get ready to go to the gym. So this is the pre-workout I'm gonna be having today. It's the Total War pre-workout. I only drink half of these because they are strong. I get them on Amazon and I really do like this pre-workout, but it is intense. So if you are sensitive to caffeine or pre-workout, I wouldn't recommend, but if you love a good pre-workout that's gonna get you going, this is a good one. This is the strawberry mango flavor, which isn't that good, but I don't really have it for the taste, I have it for the effect, so it's fine. I also just want to show you guys really quick this workout tank that I got from Amazon recently. It is so stinking cute. I really don't know what to do with my hair, you guys. I'm like feeling not like myself at all. So weird, but this tank top is everything. I have found that Amazon workout tanks are just as good, if not better, than Lulu tanks, so... I don't think I'll ever buy a Lulu tank again unless it's like really special, but this tank is so flattering So comfy this color is everything. This is a size small which typically I'm in between a small and a medium But 
I like my workout tanks to be tight so I feel like I'm being, you know, sucked in and supported. And here's what the back looks like. It really does look like a Lulu tank. You see? It has like the crisscross. Hopefully I'm getting it. But it's so cute. I love it so much. It is back day, which I'm so happy about. I absolutely love training back and upper body. I used to hate it, but now I love upper body days. So I'm training back and I'll probably do like 30 minutes of cardio. And then when I get back, I'm going to get ready and show you guys all the things I ordered online because... Okay, so it's kind of dark in this room, but here is a little pile. I've been waiting to open all of these packages until I could vlog. I mean, this one has been sitting here for a long time, this Alpha Elite one. And the Pretty Little Thing packages I just got yesterday with the Abercrombie order. But I ordered these leggings so long ago. If you followed me on Instagram, you know that I asked you guys your opinion about these leggings. Literally, I want to say almost two months ago now but I have yet to open the package and try them on because I wanted to like do a first impressions and try them on for you guys in a vlog so definitely past the point of returning so hopefully those fit but yeah I did place an order with pretty little thing and then I have Abercrombie jeans and a couple things from Zara that I want to show you guys so I will be trying all this on when I get back okay, from hi the guys, gym. Back from the gym, had a really good workout, and now it is time to open these packages. I'm so excited. I honestly forgot what I ordered from Pretty Little Thing because um, I didn't choose the express shipping. I just choose standard, and sometimes it takes a while. So I think it took like almost a couple weeks to get here. So this is exciting. First thing is a hoodie. Obviously, I live in hoodies, especially in the fall and winter. This one's from Amazon, by the way. I'll link this one down below as well. It's a beautiful, like, dark chocolate brown color. But this is a sand color, and it says, pretty little thing, just embroidered in the front. Oh, I really like this. This is really soft. Okay, cute. I seriously love this color so much. It's just so flattering, especially with the tan. I just, I absolutely love it. So I got this hoodie in a size medium, so it was oversized. And it definitely looks like it's the perfect amount oversized. I was going to get a large, but I'm really happy that I went with the medium instead because it does look pretty big. I feel like I'm just going to wear this all the time, just lounging around, running errands, whatever. I'm just obsessed with hoodies. I feel like I can never have enough hoodies. Um, what else did I get? Let's see. Sweater here. Also in like a nice nude color. I typically wear these kind of sweaters to work. Oh, this one's long. Okay. This is really long. I wasn't expecting that. Is this like a, a sweater dress? Mm. Stone knitted slouchy roll neck jumper size medium. So it looks pretty long, but we'll see. I feel like maybe with some skinny jeans and heels it would be cute, but it definitely is pretty big. But this is so soft. Oh my gosh. That is so cozy. I'm actually really impressed with the quality of this. I hope I like the fit. I feel like it's going to be an awkward length. Next bag. This bag is stuffed to the brim. They had to like tape it. <laughs> I remember getting a pair of boots. Jeez. I guess I went ham. I didn't even realize. <laughs> but I got a pair of boots and let's see. Oh, these are nice. Okay. I love this color. Yes, honey. Yes. I love that. And I love that these are open toed. And has a really nice block heel so they'd be easy to walk in. These are really nice. Wow, I'm actually impressed with like how they feel. I hope they look cute on. We will see. But yeah, I really love these. These are such a cute fall boot. Like, okay. Okay, next I just got this. What is this? Huh. Okay. Cold shoulder high neck top. Okay, so it's like a turtleneck top, but the shoulders are exposed. Okay, cute, cute. I feel like this might be a little see-through, but we will see. Yeah, definitely going to be see-through. But we'll find out. But that's really cute. Next, I got this black knitted dress. It's just a basic black sweater dress kind of but um you can scrunch the side so it's like asymmetrical and i just figured this would be really easy to wear with boots or you know just to work because this is really comfortable i'd like to be comfortable at work but still look cute and yeah i don't wear dresses very often but this looked really cute on the site i think molly may was wearing it so that's why i got it we'll see how that fits fingers crossed 
I hate returning things you guys a lot of the times I'll just take the L and like donate it to Goodwill or like the consignment shop in my hometown because I hate returning things I'm so lazy when it comes to doing it and I've wasted so much money by not just returning things but I'm just so lazy it's not a cute trait the next thing I got is this brown cropped sweater this is really thick this material is really really nice I'm actually surprised but it has this stitching down one of the sides so I thought that was kind of a unique little touch and it has like the stitching around the neck this is a really nice quality sweater I'm actually really impressed by this um, I got this in a size 4 but this color though Gorge, absolutely gorgeous. This is just a basic short sleeve turtleneck crop top. I just wanted this as a layering piece to wear underneath pretty much anything. Um, it's just a nice staple to have, obviously, in your wardrobe. Okay, I'm really confused what this next thing is. It smells horrible. Oh, that's what it is. Oh my god, that smells disgusting. It smells like fish. That's disgusting. Oh, I got this is for like a Halloween costume idea. If I was gonna be Barbie, it's like this pink leather dress. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh my god, this is so perfect though, but it stinks. Woo! Imagine me like showing up to the party smelling like fish. That would be so embarrassing, but this literally smells horrible. Okay, so that was everything from Pretty Little Thing, and I didn't get that much stuff, but. Just some nice basics for fall. Moving on to Abercrombie, I got two pairs of jeans. So I know that Abby and I said we were gonna do an Abercrombie jean haul like multiple times or just a jean haul in general, but I raved about the Abercrombie jeans and then a couple of the pairs that I thought I loved, I ended up not liking them anymore because the way that they stretch throughout the day. So I don't know, it's so hard to find a nice pair of jeans It just, looks good and stays looking good throughout the day and the night doesn't stretch out but um i figured with abercrombie jeans or i found out that i need to size down in their jeans even if they're a little tight at first because they stretch a lot throughout the day and i'm never a 26 ever like i'm a 27 usually and sometimes like in top shop jeans jeans i'm a 28 but i ordered a 26 in these jeans in hopes that they fit better so these ones are the 90s straight ultra high rise jean and I already know I love this style of their jean but these are just a plain wash but they have the split hem at the bottom. Abby and I saw Susie wearing these on her story and they looked so cute on her so we both ordered them and I hope that these fit. This is the same size that she wears though and she's so tiny so we'll see. I'm not as tiny as her. But fingers crossed that those fit. But I also got a pair of skinny high rise jeans. And in both of these I got a 26 long. Which also I'm not tall. So I don't know what it is with Abercrombie's sizing with their jeans. But it's a little off. Because I'm only 5'5", five, five, almost 5'6". Five, and I weigh around 135 pounds. And I don't know. I feel like I'm not a 2. I'm definitely a 4 or a 6. But... Yeah, so these are just a nice pair of skinny jeans. Just like a medium wash because I don't really have a medium wash pair of jeans. I have like a dark wash, black, and light. But I don't have a medium wash jean. So hopefully these fit. We will see. Okay, I just have two things to show you guys from Zara because I have to share them with you guys. I ordered these online and I instantly fell in love. Laura told me about these leather pants. And they are definitely... A dupe for the Molina pant from Aritzia. I ordered those and I didn't really like them because they just kind of stretched out. They didn't fit right. So the ones that I ordered from Zara, these ones are so comfy and they're so flattering, so cute and a fraction of the cost. So I was super excited about them. But I got this cropped white, like off-white sweater, just a turtleneck. And then I got these pants. You'll just have to see these on because they are a vibe. They're like a straight leg pant and they're just perfect for fall. I could wear these with so many different outfits, so many different occasions, and it's just a staple to have in your wardrobe during the fall. If they're in stock, definitely get those pants. I actually ordered an extra small because they're supposed to be oversized. So if you are smaller than me, they might be really baggy on you. They don't have a smaller size, and I'm never an extra small. So 
that's the only downside to those pants so sorry about that if you are a petite girl they probably won't look right on you um but moving on to alphalete the last package here let's hope that these fit if not i will be selling on my poshmark <laughs> So we'll see. I ordered three pairs of leggings, all black, I think, or one charcoal and two black. So the first pair is the Surface Power Legging, and I got a size small in all of these. So these are the ones that has like the crisscross in the stomach area to kind of give, you know, the illusion of a more snatched waist. These are really stretchy though, so maybe I'll be okay. Oh, these feel really nice, actually. Hmm. Okay, so that's the first pair. The second pair is the Amplify Legging, and I got this in the powder gray color. Let's see. These ones were definitely the most popular when I posted um, a poll on my Instagram asking which leggings you guys like from Alpha Elite. These were definitely a top favorite. Oh, these look tiny though, but they're also really stretchy. So these are the seamless ones, which sometimes the seamless can give, you know, the camel toe. So hopefully, because I got a darker color, I can avoid that. But it has the scrunch butt detail and just it says Alpha Lee on the butt. So these are really cute. I really like these. I hope that they fit and look good because those feel really nice. Okay, the last pair is the OG Revival leggings. And I've definitely heard mixed reviews about these. But these definitely don't feel as stretchy as the other two. But that might be good. It might really suck me in. But, like, the legs are really stretchy. It's just, like, the waist feels pretty tight. So, we'll see. But this does not have a scrunch butt. And the butt looks really short. So, that might not be flattering. But we'll see. We'll find out. But they do feel really good. All of those feel really, really nice. So, fingers crossed that... They fit right. I just realized that I was supposed to do a review of the Alpha Elite leggings and what I think of them. So, I mean, I haven't worn them to work out yet, obviously, but I will tell you right now, I absolutely love two of the three. I just didn't like the OG revivals. The other two, love them. Obsessed. They felt so comfortable and stretchy and they sucked me in and I felt like I would definitely work out in those and I would be comfortable. But the OG Revivals, I just didn't think they were very flattering. They did nothing for the butt. And when I was pulling them up to get them on, I like ripped a little hole in them with my fingernail. And I mean, granted, I know like I have acrylic, so I guess it's my fault. But at the same time, I feel like it shouldn't rip that easily. I wasn't like doing anything crazy. I was just grabbing it and pulling it up, which I did with the other pairs. And it didn't rip those ones. But the OG Revivals ripped as I was pulling them up. So that sucks. But yeah, the other two were at hit, so at least I liked some of them. I know it's too late to return those other ones, and now they're damaged anyway, so I'll just have to, you know, take the L on those, but that's okay. Anyways, I wanted to share with you guys what I'm eating for dinner. After the gym, I had one of these. I just have to show you guys because these are so good. So this is the Barbell Caramel Cashew Protein Bar. You can get these at Trader Joe's or on Amazon. I order mine on Amazon in bulk because I eat these all the time. So does Abby. They're so, so good. Definitely my favorite protein bar. The cookies and cream flavor is also fire as well as the white chocolate almond. And then... Um, for dinner, I'm so hungry right now because that's all I've had to eat is my breakfast sandwich and then a protein bar. And it's now 5.45. Abby and I have talked about these before from Trader Joe's. They're so good. So I'm going to have two of these and that'll be my dinner. And then I'll probably end up having a dessert because I always have to have dessert. Let me show you my recent obsessions. Well, the two desserts that I've been obsessed with from Trader Joe's lately are the ice cream sandwiches. So good. These are really high calories and these are really dangerous. Like I rarely have these ones, but they're so good. So one of these is 370 calories, 19 grams of fat, 51 grams of carbs, 34 grams of sugar, and 32 added grams of sugar. So horrible, horrible, horrible macros, horrible for you, but great for your soul, you know? Um, so yeah, those are definitely like a rare treat that I have, but these are so good too. And these are lower calories. These are only 140 calories, seven grams fat, 21 grams carb, 16 grams sugar, and then 12 added sugars, but they're still not great, but these are so good. These are the um, brownie crisp with coffee ice cream. So good. 
so obsessed with both of these i just have to have a dessert five out of seven days a week i would say i'm having dessert i'm just not going to give up my sweets like i don't need to be shredded i'll i'm okay with having a little extra body fat if i get to indulge in things like that because i do drink alcohol sometimes and i do like to have sweets but it's all about balance and consistency so these things aren't going to kill you as long as you eat them in moderation and that you're being active drinking a lot of water you know all that good stuff but yeah i'm going to show you guys what these enchiladas look like when they're all cooked they're so fire so good so i'll show you guys when they does not look good i feel like none of my food looks appetizing at all but here is the final result i'm just using some of this yogurt to replace the sour cream and yeah i'm gonna eat this and i'm gonna watch american horror story roanoke i've been obsessed um with that show again it's so good and so scary and spooky so if you guys are into scary shows or scary movies you would absolutely love it. I am almost done with the season, but it's so, so good. And I have work tomorrow morning, so that is probably going to conclude my night. I might have a glass of wine, we'll see. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it was kind of random, but I feel like my vlogs are always random. So make sure to like this video if you did enjoy. And yeah, I will see you babes very soon in our next one. XOXO.